Hi everyone, this is Paul from SpanishWithPaul.com and in this lesson we're going to look at a beautiful verb in Spanish. I call it beautiful because of the sentiment it expresses, which is how to tell someone that you miss them. If becoming fluent in conversational Spanish is one of your goals for this year, then consider clicking the link above to download my free course books that go along with all of my YouTube lessons. You can also subscribe to my channel to get a brand new Spanish lesson from me every single Monday. So with that out of the way, let's get started. The verb to miss in Spanish is extrañar. We have three syllables. Ex, dran, ñar. This N sounds like ña, ña, extrañar. If we want to say I miss, it becomes extraño, extraño. Now, there's a lot that we can do with this verb. We'll start out with saying I miss you. That would be te extraño, literally you I miss. Te extraño. What's the word for very much or a lot in Spanish? Mucho. How would you say I miss you very much? Te extraño mucho. The word for every day is todos los días. Literally all the days. Todos los días. Now say, I miss you every day. Te extraño todos los días. If you want to say, I miss him, the pronoun we use is lo. It becomes lo extraño. Him I miss. Lo extraño. How would you say, I miss him a lot. Lo extraño mucho. Switching to I miss her, the pronoun changes to la. How would you say I miss her very much? La extraño mucho. I miss her every day. La extraño todos los días. We can also go plural and say, I miss them. However, unlike in English, in Spanish we have to make a distinction. Does them mean a group of all men, or a group of all females, or a group mixed of males and females? Spanish makes a distinction between these. Now, if the group that you're missing is referring to all men or a mixture of men and women. You will use the pronoun of los. Los. However, if the group is all female, the pronoun will switch to las. Let's use it. How would you say I miss them and you're referring to a group of all males? Los extraño. How do you say all the time in Spanish? Todo el tiempo. Now say, I miss them all the time. Los extraño todo el tiempo. How would you say the same thing but referring now to a group of females? Las extraño todos los días. What's the word for more? Más. How would you say, every day I miss them more, and here referring to a group of all females. Todos los días las extraño más. We already know that to express every day in Spanish is todos los días, but we can also say each day, which would be cada día. How would you say, I miss you more each day? 
te extraño más cada día. What about each day I miss you more? Cada día te extraño más. How would you say I miss him all the time? Lo extraño todo el tiempo. I miss her a lot now. La extraño mucho ahora. As you know, we can miss people, but we can also miss things. For example, let's say we're out of the country and we're feeling nostalgic for home. To say my house or my home would be mi casa. You'll also hear this pronounced as mi casa with more of an S sound, depending on which country you're in. But either way, you'll be understood. How would you say, I miss my home? Extraño mi casa. Something else you might miss is your bed. So, in Spanish, this would be mi cama. How would you say, I miss my bed? Extraño mi cama. My country in Spanish is mi país. Mi país. How would you say, I miss my country? Extraño mi país. Sometimes, Spanish people will take it one step further and throw in the personal a into this expression. Even though they're not referring to a person, they are expressing that their country means as much to them as if they were talking about a relative or a friend. So they have extraño a mi país. If you want to say that you miss something a lot, the structure is extraño mucho and then you say what it is. So, for example, I miss my home a lot. How would you translate that? Extraño mucho mi casa. I miss my bed a lot. Extraño mucho mi cama. My time in Spanish is mi tiempo. How would you say with you? Contigo. Now say my time with you. Mi tiempo contigo. How would you say I miss my time with you? Extraño mi tiempo contigo. I miss my time with you a lot. Extraño mucho mi tiempo contigo. Hopefully you remembered that when you're saying that you miss something a lot, the structure in Spanish is to say extraño mucho first and then follow it with whatever it is that you're missing. We can also use this with other verbs. For example, I miss seeing you. First of all, what's the verb to see? Ver. And how would you say to see you? Verte. Here we have te representing you hooked on to the end of the full verb. Verte. Now, to express I miss seeing you would be extraño verte. Literally, I miss to see you. Extraño verte. You're always going to use the full verb. How would you say I miss seeing you here. Extraño verte aquí. I miss seeing you here every day. Extraño verte aquí todos los días. What's the verb to have? Tener. I wonder if you could Figure out on your own now how to say, I miss having you here. Extraño tenerte aquí. What I really asked you to do there was to hook on this pronoun 
of you to the full verb. So we have tener, to have, to have you, tenerte. Extraño tenerte aquí. How would you say, I miss having you here with me? Extraño tenerte aquí conmigo. What's the verb to talk? Hablar. How would you say, I miss talking with you? Extraño hablar contigo. To spend time in Spanish is pasar tiempo. Pasar is like to pass, to pass time, to spend time, pasar tiempo. How would you say, I miss spending time with you? Extraño pasar tiempo contigo. What is with him in Spanish? Con él. Now say, I miss spending time with him. Extraño pasar tiempo con él. My friends in Spanish is mis amigos. How would you say with my friends? Con mis amigos. Now say, I miss spending time with my friends. Extraño pasar tiempo con mis amigos. What's the verb to go out? Salir. How would you say, I miss going out with my friends? Extraño salir con mis amigos. The word for weekend in Spanish is fin de semana, literally end of week. This is how they say weekend. Fin de semana. How would you say each weekend? Cada fin de semana. Now try this. I miss going out with my friends each weekend. Extraño salir con mis amigos cada fin de semana. In English, we can say, I miss having you here, or I miss not having you here. It really means the same thing. It's interchangeable. I miss having you here. I miss not having you here. Now, we can do the same thing in Spanish. For example, let's go back. We already covered how to say, I miss having you here. How would you say that? Extraño tenerte aquí. Literally, I miss to have you here. Now, if you want to make it a little more flamboyant and say, I miss not having you here, which also sounds very natural in English, it becomes in Spanish, extraño no tenerte aquí. So it's the same structure as before, it's just that you're throwing in no here. So extraño no tenerte aquí. How would you say I miss seeing you? Extraño verte. Now say I miss not seeing you. Extraño no verte. I miss talking with you. Extraño hablar contigo. I miss not talking with you. Extraño no hablar contigo. What's the verb to work? Trabajar. And how would you say, I miss working with you? Extraño trabajar contigo. Let's go back to the full verb, to miss. What is that in Spanish? Extrañar. Now, how would you say, I'm going to miss? Voy a 
extrañar. How do you say to be here? Estar aquí. Now say, I'm going to miss being here. Voy a extrañar estar aquí. What about, I'm going to miss not being here. Voy a extrañar no estar aquí. I'm going to miss being here with you. Voy a extrañar estar aquí contigo. Let's turn it around. What if we were to sarcastically say, I'm not going to miss being here with you. No voy a extrañar estar aquí contigo. How would you say, I'm going to miss working with him? Voy a extrañar trabajar con él. I'm not going to miss working here. No voy a extrañar trabajar aquí. I'm going to miss talking with her. Voy a extrañar hablar con ella. I'm going to miss seeing you every day. Voy a extrañar verte todos los días. What's the verb to learn? Aprender. Let's imagine that I was to stop teaching Spanish on YouTube. How would you say, I'm going to miss learning Spanish with Paul? Voy a extrañar aprender español con Paul. To say the lessons in Spanish is las Lecciones. Las lecciones. How would you say, I'm going to miss the lessons? Voy a extrañar las lecciones. The word for Monday in Spanish is lunes. Lunes. How would you say, I'm going to miss the lessons each Monday? Voy a extrañar las lecciones cada lunes. And just for fun, how would you say, I'm not going to miss learning Spanish with Paul each Monday? No voy a extrañar aprender español con Paul cada lunes. If you're serious about learning Spanish and want to become conversationally fluent, my main course, Spanish with Paul, is live and available for you now. Inside you'll get my complete course, none of which is available on YouTube, and also my personal attention to make sure you achieve conversational fluency in the fastest time possible. In short, if you like my free lessons on YouTube and the results they're giving you, then you'll love what I have for you inside the main course. You can click the link on the screen now to find out all the details. So with that said, I look forward to seeing you again in my next video.